Well, well, hey there, Katrina. How's it going? It, it's good morning, everybody. It's MLB algorithm time. Good morning. It's almost 2 p.m. Right, that's right. Sorry. There are games starting, just one game starting at 2.20, but I have to do a baseball video. And this is a unlisted video for subscribers to the algorithm first. And I'm going to make it public uh, around 7 p.m. today when the later games start. Right as I'll start, I'll make this thing public for the rest of the people on YouTube. But uh, for those of you who subscribed yesterday, Katrina... Bet yesterday. Katrina finally put some money into a DraftKings account. What did you do yesterday? How much did you, how much money did you invest, Katrina? Uh well I did get that free bet. Well for you, signing up. So how much money did you invest? Why do you have to not answer was, a question directly? How much, how much did you invest? <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a hundred dollar free bet that I did a round robin on. Alright, she still doesn't answer the question. How much money did you have to deposit to Oh do all this? sorry, a uh, hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. $100. And because of that $100 deposit, you got a $100 free bet, yeah. as you were just saying. I got a $100 free bet <laughs> because I referred you. Thank good, good to me. Yeah. So there was $200 in free betting made by her $100 deposit. And what she did yesterday, if you look at yesterday's results, do you remember what she bet on? She bet on four things because I talked about them in the video late last night. Do you remember the four things you bet? Do you have any idea? Do you remember? Yeah. Just to prove that you actually did it. I did it. This this is the list. LAD stands for Dodgers. Does that ring a bell? Yes. Yeah, the Dodgers, you had minus one and a half, Mm -hmm. and they ended up accidentally winning that game by two. You had an over in a Detroit game, because we thought there were going to be a lot of runs, Mm -hmm. and there was an over. You had an over in that game with the terrible pitchers. Um, The Washington and somebody game, whatever the heck that was. You can look at the image, but she, she hit four things. She also had Texas. We, we predicted Texas almost perfectly correctly uh, yesterday. Um, they won 6-4. I think we had predicted 5-4 or 6-4 after the lineup update. She hit everything, and how much money did you win? Um, four something. Four hundred and something yeah. dollars off that hundred dollar free bet. So she's she is loving life, and she's ready to <laughs> bet again today because she's got to earn off her bonus. She just realized I told her the, the naked, real truth about your bonus, your hundred dollar free bet. You have to bet twenty five hundred dollars probably before you can be able to cash that out. So you got a lot of betting to do. So what are we gonna do today? If we're gonna have to bet, you want to know? What? There's stuff lighting up on this file here. And there's going to be a lineup update before 7, so you'll see a second email today right around 6 o'clock probably tonight that I'll send you with the updates. But as of right now, the only confirmed lineup is the very first game, which is Atlanta and the Cubs. And it's not a good game to bet because we have to use 2020 stats for Kyle Wright because he hasn't had a start yet in 2021. So it's not a good game to bet because we don't have enough information. So I'm just going to kind of move on from that game, even though that's the only game that's going out before this video. That's what it says, 6 4 but uh, if you move Zach Davies out of 2021 into 2020 stats, you get a 4-4 game, and it's completely even. So I don't, I don't like anything in this game. It looks too difficult to pick. Now, let's go down the list and see. Well, here's where things light up because you know about the colors and everything, right? Pink means the team is really bad, and uh, green means that the, the team is really good to bet on. So what should we do? There's a whole bunch of colors right here early on at 7 o'clock. What are we supposed to do? What does it say? Um, who's bad? So, uh, what's who's SDL? SDL <laughs> is St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're so bad because their pitcher is 0-2. He's lost all of his games, and he gives up an average of six runs a game. He's terrible. Zach Eflin for PHI is Philadelphia. Is has doesn't have a decision yet, but Philadelphia is a little bit better. Although both of these teams have won six games this year. If we flip this around to last year's stats and see what the simulation does. It still favors Philadelphia a lot, so that's a great sign. That means we're supposed to bet on Philadelphia. So Philadelphia is supposed to win six to three in this game. Mm-hmm. Their line is minus one forty three. We could just bet them to win. That's okay because they might not win by two because they're a home team. Remember how difficult it is for home teams to win by two because of the bottom of the ninth thing where they mm-hmm. they don't get to bat sometimes. So taking them just to win is a, is a bet we're going to do today. Arizona and Washington. Arizona, it really likes over Washington, even though Max Scherzer is a really good pitcher. Uh, I would want to check more. Uh, you know, Max Scherzer hasn't been playing like he used to. I kind of like this, too. Look at their huge underdog. Huge underdog at plus 168. It likes Arizona. Taking Arizona plus one and a half, actually, 
one and a half runs is maybe something we'll do there. We'll discuss that later tonight. We might look at this in more depth, but that is an interesting pick because they're an underdog and we like them. Tampa Bay versus the Yankees. The Yankees, it likes them because Waka stinks on Tampa Bay and Tampa Bay's bullpen stinks. That's a reasonable line, so it likes the Yankees. So St. Louis, uh, sorry, Philadelphia, Arizona, and the Yankees, it likes right now. Down here, it thinks Boston's a really strong team against the White Sox offensively. So it would say the, that Boston probably wins this game. It also says that Baltimore is terrible here with Jorge Lopez, so you're supposed to bet Texas. That's a really good line for Texas, so we're probably also going to bet Texas today. you got a lot of money to, to mess around with and bet because you have to bet through a bonus. Of course, it likes the Dodgers, but guess what? The Dodgers are playing a strong San Diego team tonight. They're both green. That means that there might be runs in this game, I feel like. We'll, we'll talk about what happens when both teams are green when it comes to power or very powerful teams. And we have a bad Detroit team against a bad Oakland team. Uh, but the line is bad, so I don't know what to do with this. So, so basically, in summary, what I think you're going to do today, and we'll, we'll go over it at 7 when the lineups are final, is Philadelphia, Arizona in some form, perhaps plus a run and a half, or maybe just outright because it says they're supposed to win. The Yankees probably on the money line. At maybe, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Maybe the Yankees scoring runs, perhaps. Maybe Yankees team team runs is NYY, Yankees. Um, we'll, bet, we'll bet against Tampa Bay, which is scary for you because you always bet on Tampa <laughs> Bay in every sport, right? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But that that's the look at today. It's really awesome what happened yesterday. Finally, baseball had a good day and went, you know, 7-4 and four with four flat wins at the top. And we, pick, we picked some underdogs. We picked this Texas underdog almost exactly. We picked this Arizona underdog to win with a ton of runs. That's right. It was the Arizona-Washington game, which was just a berserk game that ended up like 11-6, to 6, right, or something crazy. Um, and you, that was the other over you bet. You bet over 14 and a half runs, and you hit it uh, almost e easily. There were seven runs in the first inning. It was, it was this game right here. So it was a good day. We'll see if Katrina's luck continues. I, of course, lost my money yesterday. What happened to me? You bet on hockey. I bet on hockey, and I lost because I have nothing. I went to the, the practice facility for the Capitals yesterday, <laughs> and I said that the Capitals will probably – actually, I actually said I'm, I said I'm always wrong and the Caps will probably lose, and they did lose 4-2. to two. So that's what happens when I get into your house. If I get into your arena or rink, you lose. It is consistent. It has been consistent for a year Every arena I have snuck into, that team has gone on a horrible losing streak and had a terrible season. So I'm not going to go to any, any more Caps practices. Actually, maybe I will, but not when they're there. Uh, I will go uh, to, uh, to go to teams that I want to lose and see if they let me in. Kentucky, I mean, in, at Kentucky, they suck. Their basketball team had a horrible year. I got into the arena and took a picture. I'll show you that video. With um, Wyoming. I got walked in right to Wyoming, took a video. They stink. They just keep, keep losing. And then I went to Colorado Boulder, and they wouldn't let me in. Um, and they, of course, had a, had a pretty good season, made it all the way to the tournament. And then, of course, there was a freaking shooting there. And then, and then they lost the, that, day, that day that they were playing. It was awful. Anyway, all right, we're moving on. Um, that's the update for the subscribers and everybody. We'll be back with a brief update later tonight with Katrina's actual pick. Her bankroll. We're gonna show what you're gonna bet tonight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll also do hockey, where I'll bet and I'll probably lose my shirt. So, all right. Good luck, everybody.